Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this equation. So we have x plus x plus x is equal to x times x times x. Now what we're first going to do is we're going to simplify both sides. So let's first start by adding these three x's. x plus x, well that's 2x, and 2x plus x is 3x. So we have 3x is equal to, now x times x, well if we have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So we have x to the power of 1. All of these degrees are 1. So meaning x to the power of 1 times x to the power of 1, this would equal x to the power of 1 plus 1, and 1 plus 1 is 2, so we have x squared. Now x squared times x to the power of 1 again, because we got to multiply with the other x, this would equal to x to the power of 2 plus 1, which is x cubed. So we have 3x is equal to x cubed. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by x. So for the left hand side, these two cancel out. So I simply just have 3 is equal to. Now if we have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So x to the power of 3 over x to the power of 1. This is equal to x to the power of 3 minus 1, and 3 minus 1 is 2, so this is equal to x squared. So we have 3 is equal to x squared. Now we want to cancel this power out, so I'm actually going to take the square root on both sides, because remember the root is the opposite of the power. So what I do to one side, I have to do the other side. So these two cancel out, and on our right-hand side, we simply have x is equal to the square root of 3. And the square root is actually a plus or minus. So this is actually a plus or minus square root of 3. This would be negative root 3 or positive root 3. So this is our answer. 